Hi, I'm Ben from Twinkle, and today I'm looking at picture cards, which are fantastic for the development of language skills, both verbal and written. Let's take a look. If you're going to print the picture card resources, it's a good idea to look at how big they are. These PE ones are A4 size, which is great if you're outside or in a large hall, but if you're working in a small garden or inside a house, printing six or nine to a page might work a bit better. Take a look at your moves. First of all, leaping. Show me some leaping. Very good. Ooh, tiptoe. See some tiptoe. Super duper tiptoeing. Hopping. Can you hop? These before and after cards are great for helping children think about events in a particular order. You could use them as the basis for a discussion or to help inform some writing. Other picture cards are great for matching with words. Children can simply read the word and match it to the picture. Or you could use these pictures as the basis for a discussion exactly. and simply talk about what the child knows. They do? What else do you know about pigs? They have big long ears and have a smell. Mm. So do you think that they're really good at smelling or hearing? Really good at smelling. Why, what makes you think smelling more than hearing? Because they can smell the mud. Okay, why do they sniff the mud? So they can dig in the mud and play in it. What are they looking for? We also have picture cards covering a whole host of topics, like these wonderful geography scenes. An important objective in geography is children understanding different types of land, from meadows to rocky hillsides to polar regions. Positional language is another important objective in maths. These picture cards can help children understand shape and position.